I race downstairs and I tell Lucinda, his daughter, what I heard. Her eyes got wide like this. And it was him giving me instructions of what he wanted me to do in the service. She said, we're doing it. I go on stage. I introduce all the guest speakers and Richard uh, Lewis is there and uh, Bonnie Hunt and Robert Klein and all, all these wonderful people who, Frank Sinatra Jr., like people who knew Jonathan for years and years and years. And by the time I get to the end of the service, it's about two hours. And it really felt like a show. I mean, there were a lot of laughs. Like I say, there was, you know, 40 minutes worth of material of John performing. By the time we get to the end of the service, I say to the crowd, I go, I think this has been a great show and it should have been a show. John would have wanted it to be a show, but there's one performer I think we all would agree we wished had been on the stage with us. I go over, I grab the Hopalong Cassidy lunchbox and I hold it up and I go, guess what? He was on stage the whole time. We put his ashes in the lunchbox and that's what John said to me. John said, put me in the lunchbox. That's what I heard him say. Oh, my God. 